we released the CBM governor on administrative bail. He went. We invited all the deputy governors, GMs, which now they are, even day before yesterday, they are in the DSS. We are still investigating. The case is ongoing. But since the inauguration of this committee, we didn't release it to media. We didn't inform Nigerians. We didn't inform anybody. But now it reaches a situation whereby we have to tell Nigerians what is going. Because we are borrowing government, government money. This 89 trillion, why Mr. President, I respect Mr. President, and I want Nigerian people to forgive and pray for the president because when the president see 89 trillion, he is happy and approve this committee. He say, Town God, we will liquidate all the national and the international debt. We will implement our budget. And we keep money for the next government to come. And we will add our poorer reserve. Then we will import dollar. Instead of paying subsidy in petroleum, we paid subsidy on dollar. We sell it below 200 naira. So everything before Mr. President left government, that people are complaining, back of rice will come to like 6,000 naira. Everything will come down. Everything will be down. That is the essence why I take this issue to the president. And the president is happy. He approved it because he wants to save Nigeria. But today, I call you press to tell you that with all this assignment I am doing, with all this assignment I am doing, they go and made a secret meeting that they should block me from going a report to the president. Now, they block me to go and brief president the situation because when we started, we, we see 4 trillion. We, we eyed some 4 trillion. The committee eyed 4 trillion somewhere in the CBN. Before we wrote a report that I supposed to go and brief Mr. President, which I can show you the secret but progressive report to the President. Look at it here. This is progressive report of the committee to the President. 30 days progressive, which I will read and I read it. Progressive report. Past 30 days of the presidential committee on reconciliation and the recoveries of all stand duty. This committee is pleased to submit its first report after State House Council and aggression of its members and swearing to us of secrecy, along with special consultant in the premises of Department of State Security Services. On the 21st September 2022, this committee has severally directed the finance minister to open stamp duty central account that you approve for the full accounting of 89.1 trillion recovery invoice that the federal government agent, School of Banking Honors, raised on that to enable you, Mr. President, your administration, repay the nation debt, rebalu the Naira, and structure the non-oil revenue, among others, as your lasting legacy to Nigeria. However, that account has not opened yet. The Stamp Duty Central account has not opened yet. This committee has passed a deadline 
letter from federal government agent to EFCC, who withheld its investigation report of over one year. EFCC held the report for one year up to now. They didn't bring us to the committee and it's not public and it's not with government. The EFCC report, one year. For the committee and the DSS to combine, for us and the, for the committee and the DSS to combine with their own independent report, especially on the following three CBN pond, those intent and the purposes are unknown to Your Excellency. And the, where accurate stamp duty revenue of federal government is withheld from your administration news. With, in, our, in our 30 days report, we tell the president, pound in CBN private investors account, $171 billion. $171 billion found in the CBN private investors account. Then pound recycle as loan to some banks, 23.4 trillion. Then pound recycle as FMDQ. FMDQ debt to federal government, 13.0 trillion. We said to the Mr. President, the committee has severally directed SGF boss Mustafa to forward a full report on what an interministerial committee on stamp duty achieved since he inaugurated it in 2020. We asked the SDF to give us interministerial report on the committee on stamp duty, which the president inaugurated in 2020 for reconciliation in 2018. Federal government agent report that were submitted for, for your excellency through SGF, but he has refused to comply. We wrote to the SGF, he refused to comply. And we are surprised. This committee is now arranging to meet all banks, all banks, to be hosted in the DSS for completion of worksheet on the volume of their cashless transfer from April 2013 to August 2022. This is what we wrote to them. They are, they are bashing with the, with the CBN. They are, they are doing like this, they are doing like this. They are doing like this, they are doing like this. With the CBN and the banks. When CBN breach it is policy for banks and NIFs, stroke NIFs, on 100 Naira, which I am telling you, charges wise withholding 50 Naira stamp duty that was earlier approved for federal government in December 2012. So they concentrate on that 100 Naira, that which they are doing 60, 40, and abandon the 50 Naira stamp duty. In avoidance delay, the committee prays that you summon, we summon the civilian governor to proceed on suspension in avoiding delay. Committee prays that you summon the civilian governor to proceed on suspension while JSS lead full investigation into the three CBN account. That is I and E window account, FMDQ, and loans to some banks. So we can investigate that. We cannot investigate CBN while CBN governor is still we cannot investigate him while he is still governor. He will block us and he block us. Because all of the deputies and everyone in the CBN are under his directives.